and welcome back to the Saints FM series. In the last episode, we won the league, we broke the record, all of that's done. We're into the next season now, and it's just a bunch of transfers that are happening, and I'm just going to bloody get through it, and we'll start the Premier League season. Um, okay, this is a wild offer. Small bone to Leeds. They're paying me 28 million up front, 775k in installments, 600k per 10 appearances, and 1.5 after 20 inter international appearances. Smallbone's not really a starter. He's sort of just a squad player. And to get 30-odd mil from him is ridiculous. So I'm going to have to accept it. I do like Smallbone as a player, but 30 mil. I can't say no to that. So Smallbone is leaving to potentially rise to 36 and a half million. I mean, we can't say no to that. Well, Smallbone, he's a good player, but in reality, he's not a... Like, he only played 21 games last season. He only started nine games in the championship. I mean, he wasn't that crucial of a player, and he's not going to be much of a crucial player this season. He has to go, and I'll take that fucking fee. Oh, my God, yes. 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 Finally, finally someone actually offered for David Turnbull. It's only been loans. Finally, someone offered 17 mil up front. I'll, I'm going to take your hand off. I'm going to bite it off, but yes. Turnbull, you better fucking accept that. I swear to God, man. I've had enough of you this window. So we have finally negotiated a deal for Fabio Carvalho. Fucking hell, Liverpool. We're absolutely annoying in this. The deal as it stands is 20 mil up front with about 6 mil installments and then a bunch of like couple mil for uh, appearances, couple mil for goals. Pretty good deal overall because really, I mean, he's he's got good potential. Oh my God, I could loan Jeremy Doku. I mean, they want an optional future fee. It's optional. Fuck off. <laughs> I just won't accept it. But I only have to pay actually not that much. I'm actually pretty interested, actually. So Fabio Carvalho has signed. He will become a Southampton player. I am happy with that. That's our left wing sorted. I mean, Jeremy Doku may come in and then we sort of have a bit of movement. Um, We do need a right wing as well. But if we get Jeremy Doku in as well, got plenty of players. Now this guy, I had a deal done with him for a while. He's a right winger. Um, but he can play striker as well. But the problem is, is that my scout report, they just won't scout him properly. And like with those sort of things, I'm like two and a half star. He's not worth, you know, I'm only paying maybe 15 mil total. But looking at his stats, he looks pretty good. I'm torn and I've already delayed it twice. So I feel like if I delay it again, it's just going to get cancelled. I'm not sure what to do. All right, I've decided to accept it. I've decided to accept that I'm going for it. I've looked at his stats. He looks good. So obviously Fabio Carvalho signed. He's got big potential. And, you know, we can grow him 100%. Oh, I'm... yes, the gut was telling me something, and it's bloody correct. He is good. Three and a half star, yes. Fairly consistent, yes. I had a feeling the scouts were lying to me. I was like, two and a half star with these stats doesn't doesn't fit right with me. Get in. And Turnbull's fucking off the Nottingham... Oh, yes, it's cooking. The window is cooking. Pass off, Turnbull. Doku rejected the loan. Sad. Oh, there you go. Fabio Carvalho is a record transfer. Whey! Come on. Breaking records. And we've got a fucking excellent loan. We've got Bunanetti, a right winger on loan from Brighton. I mean, he's a fucking excellent player. We're basically just paying his wage. He's a good Premier League player. He's consistent. I don't know who Brighton has that makes him not be able to play. He's good. He's a good player. I'll buddy take that. So we are going to loan out Dominic Ballard. I just think he needs the game time. I don't think I can guarantee him. Especially, we don't have Europa League. We don't have any of these sort of competitions. Like, I was looking through the schedule. We barely have any midweeks for the first half of the season. Last season, we had midweeks every single week for about five, six months straight. So we're not really going to need him. He's going to be an important player Sheffield Wednesday. Hopefully, he does well in the championship. But he just doesn't have a role right now. He's not going to get enough game time to develop. All right, we have the Carabao Cup. To, we're just going to bloody draw it. we got West Ham. What is our luck? What is actually our luck? That is just bullshit. Why are we not getting League 1, League 2 opposition? We got fucked over last time. We got Chelsea based against them. We got Liverpool instantly. Come on, man. What is this? All right, we are here. The first Premier League game of the season. We're kicking off away to Arsenal. Brilliant start. Can't wait. This is the team. It's majority team of last season, except for Bustos, who plays on the right wing. Fulcroll probably would have started, but he had a slight injury, so, you know, he's going to be on the bench. We do need... I am looking at one more centre mid. We do need one. With Sila injured, Alcaraz has to play. He's not 100% fit. We need one more midfielder, which I'm trying to find. Trust me, I'm trying to find. But other than that, let's kick off the Premier League campaign. Mikel Arteta is still the manager of Arsenal, which is a rarity in FM. Normally, people just get sacked left, right, and centre. He's still here. Fair enough. It's basically exactly the same team they have in real life. That's actually impressive. Now it's for Arsenal. Oh, Alcaraz, beautiful. Melikotchep! What are you doing, brother? 
Free kick opportunity here for Martin Odegaard. He goes for goal. Bazzuto, the safest hands in the league. Nice play, Alcaraz. Where are you going, Mara? Oh, sucker's in. Sucker. Plays it across. It's in. Mara, where are you running, fella? Unbelievable. Sucker. Jesus is offside, I think, maybe. He's offside. Wanker. All right, it's half time. It's not been a bad half. I mean, we haven't really created anything, but defensive have been pretty good. It's just unfortunate we're losing. Alcaraz has to come off. He's dead. Rice plays it through. It's Trossard. It's two. Uh, we went for it in the last 10 minutes. Didn't really create anything, and that's why they've got their goal. We were sort of trying to push on them, but I'm not too upset with that. I mean, defensively, we were very solid. I mean, Arsenal are one of the best teams in the league. They really only had, they only had felt four shots on target. They had a lot of possession, obviously. We didn't really create much, but to stay up and to do well in the Prem, we've got to have a good defense, and I'm pretty happy with that for our first game. Wait, Ralph Harsin, who's the Everton manager? Okay, Ralph. Good day. Good on you. Nathan Jones is the Stoke manager. He got signed this season. All right. Throwback. Go on, Jones. So he was unhappy about game time. And I was like, well, I don't know if I can give it to you. Might have to leave it. He's like, no, I'll wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Second game of the Prem. We're hosting Fulham. We spanked them in the first season. The Carabao Cup semifinals. One about, I think it was 3-0 or 3-1 in the second leg. Destroyed these donkeys. Let's bloody do it, boys. First point of the season is coming now. Fulcrog's up front. Hopefully he scores a hat-trick. David Moyes is the Fulham manager. Okay. Chance for Fulham to set pace. Can we clear it? It won't be at the end. Just wide. Thank God for that. Right on, Fulcrog. Bust us. Lovely ball. Walker Peters. Walker Peters still. Really, man. And that's half time. We've been the better team, but not by much. We've had majority possession. We've had a few more chances than them. But other than that, not been that great. Walker Peters at the edge to Shea Charles. Adozi, Alcaraz, what a miss. To Charles. Shea Charles wants to go. It's just over. Adozi into Carvalho. Carvalho into Downs at the edge. It's it's fun Downs. Oh, it's off the post. Saves off the post. Back in. Carvalho. No, man. Bonadetti whips it in. Howard's going up. Adozi, Adozi, can he play it across? Yes, it's in! Come on! It's an own goal! Get in! We've fucking battered these pieces of shit all second half. Come on! Yes, can you cross it in now? Can you cross it? Mara, off the post! You're taking the piss! Nice ball, Fabio Carvalho. Loses it, but wins it back. Carvalho, still! <sighs> and it's full time! First three points of the season. We apps, look at that! Second half, absolutely battered them. 21 shots to four, 70% position, excellent performance that second half. Three points. The season's off and flying. All right, we have West Ham at home in the Carabao Cup. Uh, it's a pretty rotated team. Only Flynn Downs and Shea Charles and Mara really are starters that are starting right now. So gives a chance for some of the more fringe players to go out there and do well. Ward Prowse for West Ham. I wish I could sign you, Ward Prowse. He doesn't want to join me. I've already tried, guys. No, Lucas. No. We concede. It's been a dead affair. Nice. Adam Armstrong. Can he play it across? He can. It's in. Buena de... Buena Notti. Whatever your name is, bud. Has scored and we're level. That's half time. I mean, as you can see by the stats, they're three shots each. It's been pretty shit. We've dominated position, but we're level. So I'm happy with that. Oh, what a ball he's through. And he's Dink Bazunu. He's onside. And we're down. Lovely switch. Larios in ton of space. Larios. Adozi. Adozi plays it across. Adam Armstrong scores. Is he onside though? Oh no, we're going upstairs. He's offside. Damn it. Nice ball. Buonadetti. Go on, lad. No. Ward Prowse. Piss off. Nice Shea Charles wins it. Adozi. It's him. How did he not score? Oh, what a chance. We're starting to cook them in the second half now. Three. What? He's pointed this way. He's given a pin. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't fucking see anything wrong with that fella. No. Oh, no. Disgraceful challenge. Come on. No, don't tell me it's Adam Armstrong. Don't tell me it's Adam Armstrong. Please don't tell me. Oh, no. Oh, no. This guy is useless from the fucking spot. Why does it all... Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. I should have just subbed on Fulcrog just for that. He would have scored. Oh my god, Adam Armstrong, he pissed me off on the spot. And that's full time, we lose. Adam Armstrong is never taking a penalty again. I'm going to do it right now. He is removed from it. He has missed way too many penalties. Uh, it's whatever though, we're out of the cup. At the end of the day, I don't think we really had the, the, the run 
to go do a cup run this year. I don't think it's going to be this year of a cup run. I'm just trying to focus on getting, you know, a good finish in the Prem. It's really my focus. There we go. Adam Armstrong is never taking a penalty again. All right, now we have another big match away at Stamford Bridge against Chelsea. A few changes. Borna Netti is in the starting 11 because he was fucking excellent. Other than that, basically the same team. Zagadou has to come in. Balakotchap's got a slight knock. He's out for a couple of days. Let's bloody hope we can get something away at Stamford Bridge. We've been pretty decent in real life away at Stamford Bridge, so maybe there's hope. Julian Nagelsmann, the Chelsea manager. Lukaku. Oh, God. Lukaku and Sterling up front. If they score, it's unrealistic. Who are with the ball in? No one's gone to Chilwell there. That's poor defending Alcaraz. Well won. What the actual... What the fuck? Zagadou. Zagadou, brother. What the fuck are you doing? You've just given Lukaku a tap in. You're a fucking idiot, Mars. Of course that's how we concede. Of course it is. Of course it is. Oh, this is fucking stupid. That is shit defending. Why? In a 40-yard free kick, do we have six people on the fucking wall? What? He's not going to shoot from there, boys. And if he does, he's not going to fucking score unless he's Roberto Carlos, which I don't believe he is. Why do we have... We are outnumbered defensively. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Chelsea players to one, two, three, four, five, six Saints players. Absolutely brain dead. You're fucking stupid. That's two absolutely brain dead goals, and I'm fuming. And that's fucking annoying, literally. It, again, defensively, we're completely fine. Unless we want to give them two goals. It's ridiculous. That is not good enough. I'll bloody go for it, but... Don't be surprised we get hit for seven here. Chilwell with the corner. It's off the crossbar. Clear it. Fucking psychopaths. This is awesome defending, guys. Really, really slow in the brain. Fucking hell. Of course Sterling scores, bro. Fuck you. That defending is actually shit. Oh, Walker Peters. You're tackling Fenier, mud. Why is no one going to the opposition? Like, why, why are we so, we're so, like, fucking stagnated. No one's doing anything. The ball gets received to someone in front of you, like, nah, fuck you, mate. I won't get close to you. The fuck are we doing defensively today? As the, like, the ball comes to Nkuku, he's like, oh, fuck that. Oh, fuck, the ball comes around. Oh, fuck that, I won't press them. Useless. Now, that is what we'd call a shocking defensive performance. Absolutely fucking abysmal. Nah, there's nothing like this game. Mara's complaining about game time. Three, three games into the Premier League season. Because he's come off the bench twice. Are you fucking dumb? It's three games into the season, fella. You haven't exactly scored to keep yourself on the team, have you? Fucking hell. People get unhappy so easily in this game. It's stupid. I'm supposed to be an important player, but my playing time hasn't really affected that. It's three games in. Fucking Christ, fella. That's just stupid. I have to promise to play him, otherwise he'll want to leave. It's just stupid. He should not be he should not be complaining about game time when it's three games into the season. Alright, that's going to be the end of this episode. I'm gonna stop it before deadline because I'm gonna have a bloody think. I'm gonna have a browse and try to find someone. Um, but that's gonna be the end of the episode. We obviously got to a decent start. I mean, one win from our first four. We should have bet West Ham, whatever. Obviously, we had to play away to Arsenal Chelsea. Didn't expect to get anything from them. Leicester apparently winning the league. Bloody awesome, bud. What the fuck? But I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe, did. And I'll see you boys in the next episode.